Okay, let's talk about a tier list of hardcore WoW classic classes. I want to make a hardcore proficiency list for leveling from 1 to 60. No dying, no trading, no auction house. All of the normal hardcore rules. I want the very best at the top and the worthless losers at the bottom. We have work to do. But what do you mean by hardcore proficiency? Is that some sort of kink you're into now, Donald? Holy shit, Barack. You know we don't kink shame here. It's a matter of decency. No, Barry, you degenerate asshole. I won't bring up Michael if you don't bring up Melania. I mean the ability of a class to level up from 1 to 60 in hardcore without any special challenges or gear. Just plain and simple leveling. We'll rank the classes based on how easy or difficult they are to level up. Easy like an Obummer drone strike. Or difficult like Sleepy Joe attempting to climb Air Force One's stairs. Come on, man. It was windy. Come serious. No cap. In any event, what are the top classes? Quit crying, Joe. You might walk better if you cleaned the crap out of your pants. Anyways, it's always interesting to hear different perspectives on class rankings and see where you guys land on the issues. Donnie, you're the MLG beast mode. Wow, Chad, what do you think? Many people are saying. They come to me and they say, Sir, the top two classes are Mage and Hunter. Believe me, they are so easy to level up. If you can't get the 60 on these classes, I don't know what to tell you. Sad. Or why are people saying they got hold of clout? Low key, I king it even. But to be honest, both of those classes do remind me of drone strikes with their long range attacking abilities. Hunters have a great pet that helps them survive. The best pet. And mages have many, many spells that make leveling up a breeze. They have damage mitigation, lots of utility, and can even AoE farm. The absolute best. S tier for both of them. Uh, okay. I guess I would agree with that. That sounds great. But the fact of the matter is, getting to 60 without dying is a long road. A hard road. It's not a joke. I die every time and it makes me salty AF. That's because you don't follow the three rules of hardcore, Sleepy Joe. Donald, what are the three rules of hardcore? Head on a swivel, always have an escape plan, and absolutely, under no circumstances, should you ever go into a friggin' cave. Damn, boys. I can't remember all that. What about other classes? Well, Druid, Paladin, and Priest are pretty strong, too. But they have their own tremendous strengths and weaknesses. Let's get real. If I stand for priests all day, is it sus that I spend a lot of time in confession booths, or is that Gucci with you two? Don't make it weird, Joey. It's pretty sus, Joe. But how do they compare to mages and hunters? How do the other classes compare in damage output, terms of survivability, resource management, and crowd control capabilities? They are not as easy to level up, but they are still pretty efficient early on. Paladins and priests slay early on, and they both have bubble shields, but they fall off at later levels. And druids are tough to level up in the beginning, but they do get better after level 20. Getting cat farm is huge. Low-key, I like cats. Druids can be somewhat challenging to play effectively flexing their complex toolkit. Paladins and priests, on the other hand, are often considered strong early on due to their healing abilities and utility. Those life-saving bubbles go a long ways, but it should be noted that bubble hearthing is not allowed in hardcore rules. Also, as the game progresses and players reach higher levels of content, the relative strengths and weaknesses of each class may shift. Come on, man. Enough malarkey. So where would you rank them, Don? I think I would put druids above priests, just because they are more versatile. Probably both of them in B tier. But Paladin's a little lower because at higher levels, the low DPS output gets boring AF. C tier for Pallies. So, not a good choice for Sleepy Joe. What about Rogues? Surely stealth and raw damage amounts to something worthwhile. Although positional attacks can be tricky for a solo adventurer. Look, in the hands of a goaded player, Rogues can slay like a mafa. Plus, Rogues' drip is lit. I've been saying this for years. I would rank rogues mid on the list. They have their own unique playstyle, but they don't have the finesse for leveling up as other classes do. Sure, a skilled rogue is vibing, but an incompetent one will be dead quickly. Believe me. They can still be a valuable and rewarding class to play for all those who enjoy their playstyle and are willing to put in the effort to master them. Keep it 100. Rogues are big dick energy all day. All right. I'll put them a little higher then. A tier for rogues. Okay. What about warriors? Warriors are tough to level up. They are gear dependent and don't have any self-healing abilities. I would rank them lower on the list. They are a disaster for hardcore. 
While warriors are undoubtedly powerful in endgame content, leveling up a warrior can be a challenge. Without the right gear, warriors can struggle to deal damage effectively and may take significant damage in combat. Give me a break. Warriors are boring and put me to sleep. You fall asleep all the time, Joe. D tier. Hey, I heard you old salty bitches were trying to cancel warriors. I'll stand for warriors all day. When you and your squad want to roll into a dungeon, you'll want one with you instead of some basic ass druid or paladin. You'll want a real meat shield savage chat. And for that, warriors are hands down going to be the goat. Rogan with the clap back. Whatever, Rogan. They are D tier. Hey guys, is Rogan in here? We were in the middle of our hardcore duo run and he left voice chat in the middle of Verd and the Everliving in our Wailing Caverns run and we nearly wiped. Yeah, that meat shield is in here. Jamie, can you pull up some warrior PvP videos? What about warlocks? Let me be clear. I like demons, but they can be somewhat challenging to level up due to their reliance on pets and more complex spell rotations. Warlocks are good, but they are not as easy to level up as mages. They have great damage, but they also have to deal with managing their pets. Do not disparage the greatness of an effective warlock. As far as I can tell, they embody the archetypal themes of power, magic, and darkness. And overcoming challenges set before you as a lock main have led me to a lot of personal growth and development. You must take responsibility for your actions and the actions of your bloody demonic minions in a manner which demonstrates competency and mastery of yourself as well as the world around you. It's complicated, you know. I prefer the uniquely challenging gameplay style that sets me apart from other basic players. It's not at all obvious what the solution is. Locks require more careful planning and attention to detail than other classes, and may be more challenging for noobs and filthy casuals. What do you think, Donald? Locks are strong. They're very powerful. Let's put them in A tier. All right, agreed. What about shamans? Shamans are good, but they are not as versatile as druids. They are also better in groups than solo leveling. Very unfair. That's ridiculous. Shamans are one of the most versatile classes in the game and can adequately perform healing, DPS, among other important utility abilities from totems. They're great in a group and from an RP perspective, tapping into ancestral spirits and elemental powers of the natural world reminds me of a DMT trip I once had. I'm not advocating for that. Come on, Joe. We still have to finish wheeling caverns. Shamans are highly respected for their ability to heal and buff allies, and their totems can provide support in group settings. Well, that makes sense. So what about gear? We're not factoring in gear. This is just about the raw leveling ability of each class. Oh, I see. So what's your final list? We stand with you. S tier, mage and hunter. A tier, rogues and locks. B tier, priests and druids. C tier, paladins and shaman. D tier warriors. Thanks for explaining that. I'm still new to the game, so this helps a lot. Joe, you're so old I find it hard to believe that you're new at literally anything. Yeah, me too. I'll definitely keep this in mind when I make a new character. I'm optimistic. I'm going to roll a rogue. For no obvious reasons. No problem. Always happy to help out fellow players. You're going to win so much, you're going to be tired of winning. Okay. Bye-bye now. Adios, muchachos. What was that last logo? It reminds me of the laughing man from that anime Ghost in the Shell. Well, since you're still here, why don't you watch another video or subscribe to the channel? I think that's what all the finest people would do. He puts a lot of work into these videos and greatly appreciates you. How about just a like then? Alright, thank you so much. Take care now. Bye-bye.